It definitely takes some serious confidence to step into the RV world and casually compare yourself to Airstream, but Evatrex seems more than ready for that kind of spotlight. This California-based startup only emerged from stealth in late 2025, and they've already unveiled their flagship travel trailer. And honestly, this is one of those debuts that makes you stop scrolling and pay attention. Back in November 2025, as Evatrex revealed it had secured its first round of funding, it also laid out some pretty bold plans. The company promised a luxury travel trailer that could thrive completely off the grid, while also being sustainable, wood-free, capable of light off-roading, and packed with smart tech. It sounded ambitious, maybe even a little too ambitious, especially coming from a startup entering a traditionally conservative industry like RVs. Let's be real, we've all heard these kinds of promises before. Startups love big visions, and in the RV space, they don't always survive first contact with reality. So if you kept your expectations in check when Evatrex made those claims last year, that was probably the smart move. But now, with CES 2026 marking the debut of their first fully functional prototype, it finally feels like Evotrex has earned the excitement. The trailer is now officially called the Evotrex PG-5. And while the company hasn't explained what PG-5 stands for, the Evotrex name itself blends EV, evolution, and durability. The PG-5 will be offered in multiple trims, starting with the Pioneer as the base model and topping out with the fully loaded Atlas. For CES, Evotrex rolled in with a complete Atlas unit, giving us our first real look at both the tech and the interior. Evotrex is calling the PG-5 the world's first RV travel trailer capable of generating its own power. And that's not just marketing fluff. The idea is simple but powerful. No matter if you're parked in the desert or deep in the mountains, living off the grid shouldn't feel like a compromise. This is a fully electric trailer, but it doesn't rely on solar alone. Instead, it blends multiple energy sources into a hybrid-style system. The entire roof is covered in solar panels, delivering 1.5 kilowatts, feeding into a massive 43 kilowatt hours LFP battery pack. On top of that, there's a gas generator with its own 20-gallon tank, neatly housed in a large box on the tongue, ready to recharge the batteries when solar alone isn't enough. Altogether, the system can generate up to 270 kilowatt hours of usable power in a single cycle. That energy doesn't just run the trailer's living systems. It can also power camp gear, charge external devices, top up your tow vehicle, or even provide emergency power to your home during an outage. What really elevates the experience, though, is how intelligently that power is managed. Everything is controlled through an app, accessible on the included tablet or your phone, giving you full visibility into energy usage and resource levels. Evatrex also includes an off-grid calculator that factors in real-world conditions like weather, your habits, and power, needs to estimate how long you can comfortably stay off the grid. Instead of guessing, you head out knowing exactly what your setup can handle, which is a huge confidence boost for longer adventures. Towing and setup are also smarter than average. The PG-5 features a propulsion and torque assist system designed to improve efficiency while towing and make maneuvering easier. In practical terms, the trailer can actually park and reposition itself using the app, even when it's not hooked up to a tow vehicle. That's the kind of feature you don't realize you need until you've struggled with tight campsites. Physically, the Evotrex PG-5 looks every bit as serious as its tech suggests. It stretches just over 28 feet in length, rides on a dual axle setup with adjustable air suspension, and rolls on chunky 33-inch off-road tires. It's a big, rugged trailer, but Evatrex claims it's doing everything possible to keep weight down with a wood-free construction and durable composite materials. Final weight numbers haven't been officially confirmed yet, but early estimates suggest around 9,900 pounds gross and about 8,500 pounds dry. Construction details are still a bit under wraps, though it appears to use a solid metal frame and possibly a one-piece fiberglass roof. Evatrex clearly believes in its build quality, 
as it confidently displayed the PG-5 right next to a classic Airstream, making a bold statement about the standards it's aiming to meet. While it's not a traditional toy hauler, the PG-5 includes a clever 43-square-foot drop-down patio that doubles as a ramp, tucked beneath a rear tailgate that also functions as an awning. Inside, the durable flooring and tie-down points allow you to haul smaller gear right into the living space without worry. The layout is thoughtfully designed, with the bedroom up front beneath a large, auto-tinting panoramic windshield, the living area at the rear, and the kitchen and bathroom placed in the middle. The interior feels genuinely premium, with composite materials throughout, smart storage solutions, and an airy, modern design that doesn't rely on slide-outs to feel spacious. Instead of a traditional TV, there's a projector system with a movable screen that can be used in both the living room and bedroom. The kitchen features a sleek drop-down coffee station, a four-in-one microwave replacing the usual RV oven, and an all-black aesthetic that feels more boutique hotel than campground. The bathroom is compact but impressively refined, and the bedroom hides storage in all the right places. Some specs, like tank capacities and HVAC details, haven't been fully disclosed yet, but an AC unit comes standard and is mounted under the floor instead of on the roof. Standard features also include electric auto leveling, power floating steps inspired by Airstream, frameless tinted windows, mood lighting, and a power awning. For a first product from a young company, the Evatrex PG5 feels shockingly complete. If this is what Evatrex looks like right out of the gate, the RV industry may want to start paying very close attention.